Mehta, ladies and gentlemen, I'm indeed uh, deeply honored and privileged to be present here again today uh, at this event which marks a major breakthrough in the lives of children for this school and schools, special schools around Fiji in the region and the world. The special schools in Fiji since its existence have been a pillar of strength in the successful dissemination of education and lifelong learning skills to children with special needs. Our government uh, uh, believes strongly about ensuring that no child is left behind and we want to ensure that we do everything possible to uh, see that our children with special needs uh, do get uh, the same opportunity to access education and have, a, and have a better standard of living as other children do. And we would continuously and progressively uh, identify and remove obstacles which would uh, deny them education uh, as other children are having. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have gathered here to present uh, the very last lights to this institution um, as we did uh, yesterday morning in Nandi. These lights have been significantly, uh, specifically designed to aid the visually impaired in the learning uh, through uh, the University of the South Pacific's research portfolio under the able leadership of uh, Dr. Utkal Mehta by the two postgraduate students, uh, Nikhil Singh and Vinal Prakash. Um, I commend these two students in the University of the South Pacific, especially for the research uh, in areas which assist us, government, uh, for policy making and also uh, assist us in the operational aspect of institutions that uh, we run. And as alluded to by the Vice Chancellor, uh, this is uh, a particular output that looks at uh, the university's contribution on social corporate responsibility. And I commend the university for this. Uh, last year, the US School of Science and Technology <coughs> attained a major milestone when two of its engineering programs received professional accreditation from the Institute of Professional Engineers, New Zealand Athens. Now we see the school reaching a higher benchmark in terms of performance and quality driven, uh, driven teaching and learning. Whenever university and institutions make a major investment, uh, we would want to see <coughs> output leading to contribution of the overall uh, outcome that we government would want to see in, in the country. So uh, prior to last year, I was at USP, uh, SGPS to open the newly established engineering lab. And, uh, uh, it was a major um, investment that the university has made to ensure that uh, not only it meets the attendance requirement for uh, the workshop for engineering, but also uh, uh, provides the infrastructure for students to uh, do research uh, by uh, ensuring that the quality of the qualification that they have is second to none and uh, they are able to uh, get the infrastructure required to produce those kind of technological uh, products that uh, they are required to in the program. And today, uh, here we see uh, one of those uh, outputs through the engineering college. Uh, whenever technology, uh, technological products are uh, uh, made, uh, uh, we see the product to be superior to the existing uh, product. And this is it. This product is superior. It has gone through uh, numerous <coughs> uh, examination uh, and has been uh, presented at the, I believe, IEEE uh, conference. And as <coughs> in academia, uh, it has gone through review by peers, uh, professors and experts in this field. So uh, it is a very superior product. And whenever technological products are um, release in the market, uh, one of the things that people often look forward to is affordability. And we see in this product, not only it is superior, but it's also cheaper than the existing product, which is it's a remarkable achievement. Uh, at times we see 
superior products that are released in the market, it is more expensive. Uh, you see, look at the technology in the, in the um, uh, telecommunications market. Whenever you see new um, um, the latest models of uh, smartphones released, it is more expensive. But here we see uh, that uh, through the university, instead of a private sector, through the university, uh, they were able to come up with a product which is superior, uh, which has got international accreditation, international recognition, and it's also um, financially uh, much cheaper, and therefore uh, really assists small developing countries to acquire this product and give it to uh, students. Uh, I want to really commend the university for standing up to, uh, in terms of uh, delivering on is one of its core business, which is research and innovation. Uh, universities and uh, research institutions are required <coughs> uh, to uh, not only um, teach and undertake consultancies, but as part of this post digital research program, to um, look at how the knowledge is expanded, frontiers uh, are pushed, and uh, through technological innovation. Uh, countries can progress, and here we see uh, University of the South Pacific at the wage of its 50th university uh, is uh, making a remarkable contribution in terms of uh, contributing to the existing uh, existing technologies in, in, in PG and the region. Um, this is, uh, I do hope that uh, this, uh, uh, this innovation uh, reaches out to not only schools in Fiji. So it's very hard uh, for them to... ...the matter that there's interest in Australia and New Zealand as well. <coughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I believe uh, the um, uh, <coughs> researchers uh, have uh, uh, explained the, uh, how the system will operate and how it will ensure that our children uh, will be able to uh, read uh, materials uh, that as uh, other children uh, who are able to uh, have, who are having good vision are able to read them, those materials. We are quite, uh, over the last two years we have increased our investment uh, for our special schools where children are studying. We actually doubled the pay capita grant and we are also providing additional grant to ensure that schools are uh, fully equipped. We are also looking at uh, identifying uh, schools uh, in, every, in every district, uh, primary schools, where special schools are not present, uh, so the children could uh, attend them, and we call, this, uh, call them inclusive schools. Uh, we are also looking at how we could uh, identify high schools <coughs> and uh, make infrastructural improvements and provide additional staff so that these high schools are also able to accommodate children with special needs. So all in all, our government is geared towards uh, uh, ensuring that every child uh, gets access to education. We have got a very good tertiary uh, education system, very robust, competitive, and um, one of the most best developed in the entire Pacific region. Uh, and USP uh, is taking lead in that. USP has got a brand name. USP is sought after by <coughs> other countries in the region to uh, acquire membership <coughs> that demonstrates the USP's standing in the region. Uh, as well as internationally through uh, accreditation of our programs, through research and publication, and uh, through um, uh, these kinds of uh, innovation and technological development. Uh, we, um, we are also uh, got a robust uh, school, high school and primary school in ECE system, which we are continuously interrogating. We've got a dynamic uh, curriculum. Uh, we, changes are taking place. And we need to continuously uh, re-examine our curriculum to ensure that our children, uh, our products out of our primary school, university, uh, high schools are relevant to contemporary market and contemporary requirements of universities. And we don't want to, uh, we don't want to be caught up in a situation where the graduates that come out of our high school, primary school, and universities are, uh, are irrelevant to the contemporary uh, local and global market. We need to ensure that uh, uh, we are positioned of the developments in the uh, global market and through our universities, uh, through um, 
uh, our development partners, uh, we're trying our best to ensure that we prepare our students well uh, to meet the demands of the global market. So um, this kind of partnership with the uh, universities, in particular USP here today, uh, 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 kind of demonstrates that uh, government's investment uh, at the, in the tertiary sector is uh, really good. Uh, and I want to um, commend again uh, the Dean of the College for organizing this a very timely, very strategically, strategically timed uh, uh, announcement uh, is level 30. Uh, this morning, uh, our ministry is having a meet, meeting with the Ministry of Finance for the final budget uh, uh, submission. So, uh, very strategically, strategically organized. Uh, but uh, it's a coincidence. But I want to say that uh, it kind of uh, strengthens us uh, in terms of uh, uh, acquiring uh, funding for uh, Royal Universities. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, it's my pleasure to uh, commend this uh, uh, product out to all uh, uh, children with special needs throughout the region and the region. And I want to um, uh, impress on the researchers that technologies do change and, and they need to keep on uh, investigating it, keep on uh, researching it, and to ensure that we get uh, the product uh, better and more cost effective. So these words, uh, I want to commend the university and the researchers, and it's a remarkable uh, product out of uh, student research, uh, which has got international um, accreditation. And I, it's my pleasure to launch this product. Thank you.